A visit to Pat's hand-tied flies was more than just an outdoor supply stop. That's for trout up at the holy water. You can catch steelhead. It was a place of free fishing expertise and a place of community where you could share the story of the one that got away. A lot of people come in, well, what are they catching them on? Well, they're using yarn flies. What's a yarn fly? How do you tie a yarn fly? So we take the time, take the hook, and we'll tie them up a couple and show them. So here, here, have these, you know. We don't charge them for that kind of stuff. The little guy, the stuff where you get that kind of information, is going by. And now after 15 years of running the shop, John and Susan Billows are ready to move on. But they're unable to sell the business, so they say they have to close down shop. Hey, the economy has hit us hard. There's been some ODFW regulations that have come down that have hit us hard. Regulations at the lake because of the algae has hit us hard. We're not seeing near the people come out. The couple says this shows a sad fact. People are just not heading outdoors the way they used to. The way the law is, you can only keep a hatchery salmon. So how many people are going to go out after four or 5,000 salmon that they can legally keep? People are just not going to go fishing. Because the younger generation, with everything that's going on, they need to know what it's like to go fish and see that steelhead or that trout come out of the water and flip. If the younger generation has that passion for fishing, finding the supplies shouldn't be that big of a problem. But finding a community place like Pat's Hand-Tied Flies, that's a different story.